Well, hi, it's Pastor Cody, and I wanted to give you a little tour of what the church looks like for Advent. We went ahead and uh, decorated the church for Christmas, and then we're going to talk about um, our Advent and Christmas plans, you know, and, and how COVID can affect them. You can see here behind me, uh, we have the the Chrismon uh, display and explanation. Those are all the different uh, Chrismons with their symbolism. Entering the sanctuary, we have our wreaths. And you can see we have our trees. Um, as it gets closer to Christmas Eve, we will add in the poinsettias. And, uh, and we'll make sure those are in the background for the videos as well. I just wanted to make sure you got a chance to enjoy uh, the, the sanctuary setup. And also thanks to Pastor Carol for organizing the Advent candle lighting. And she did all those in a marathon uh, video day. And thank you to everyone who, uh, who agreed to do that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, COVID and, and Christmas plans. So we are, um, so just to remind you of our process, uh, we, back in July, uh, we developed a COVID scorecard, and uh, using metrics, uh, we assign points, and those point, you know, those ranges are, are defined, and, um, and if we can get to four points, then we said that that was safe enough to do in-person worship with the, uh, with the setup we did in uh, August, September, and October. Um, the scorecard did not uh, give us four points. In fact, it only gave us two out of four um, for November. So we had to cancel both of our attempts there. We're still at two points. So we're going to have to drop our December 6th in-person worship. Um, if you look at the numbers, it has it's like crested and started going down. So if there isn't a big bump uh, in cases due to Thanksgiving, there is still a, there's a chance that we will be back at four points for Christmas Eve. Uh, but we're going to do kind of what we've been doing is you know, we can't predict the future, so we're going ahead and making plans uh, that can be done in person uh, or virtually or a combination of both, and, and we will just let you know uh, as it gets closer. So for December 6th, we're, we are not going to be able to hold that in person. Uh, we're still, uh, it's still possible for Christmas Eve, uh, but we also have some plans for that. So one thing we're going to change already is the 4 o'clock, we were going to do an outdoor Christmas sing-along uh, not sure if that's a good idea, so we're switching to something we're 99% sure able to do, which is kind of a, a drive-through thing for, for families. So we're putting together the details on that, and we'll let you know. Uh, but we're going to change that 4 o'clock to, uh, to something that you drive through the parking lot. The families can drive through the parking lot, and, and we'll have music and craft, uh, some things that we'll give you if you come through. So unless it's, um, you know, active blizzard or uh, or shut down, stay at home orders, uh, we should be able to do that. So that's one change we're making. We'll just be in touch as Christmas Eve gets closer. We're, again, we're still hopeful and it's still uh, definitely possible. And we'll see what, uh, what Thanksgiving does in terms of our caseload. And, and we'll be in touch. So we just, we make our best plans and we have this scorecard defined and it has lined up pretty nicely with how we're feeling in terms of safety to have in-person worship. Um, so we will let you know. But again, we're gonna have to cancel De December 6th, unfortunately. And we will hold out hope for December 24th. Hope to see you then. And in the meantime, enjoy um, the, the online uh, worship and, and special music and special organ concert and uh, a lot of the things that we have lined up for you uh, during this Advent season. Hopefully you may still notice the presence of Christ even in this very strange year.